guy here with the Trauma Divers Podcast. You know, I often talk about when I started uh, doing the podcast, my goal was to, um, you know, along with raise awareness of trauma and inspire and hopefully educate other young clinicians like myself at the time, I wanted to bring on, uh, you know, what I consider to be master trauma therapists and find out how they worked and what they did. And I did that and it was, it was great, but something happened along the way. And that was that I began to learn more and more about how important it was for the clinician, whether you're a therapist or coach, or whatever, to not just have a body of knowledge, but to be themselves, yes, with with boundaries and ethics, of course. I'm not talking about just wantonly emoting and, and, and so forth. And why is that important? That is important because we all need a human. We need that interaction. We need that relationship. Whether we're talking about a therapeutic relationship or just a platonic relationship. I remember when a couple months ago when I was uh, uh, wanted to get back into therapy, so I called a therapist I had been seeing for a while. She told me that she was no longer seeing people, but she could recommend a few people. And I keep doing this. I had this something itching my neck here, scratching my neck. So I, I called these people. Uh, there were three of them, and I'm sure they were competent, but I remember one in particular, we did a Zoom call to, just to me, and she spent 20 minutes telling me how she was going to work, the, the, the modality that she was going to use. And I just left thinking to myself, just really frustrated, just thinking, I want a friggin' human being. Now, the reason why this excites me is it gave me permission to own and honor myself, my, my uniqueness, my idiosyncrasies, the ups and downs of who I am. Uh, because when I was doing those interviews, and when I continue to do these interviews, all of these therapists tell me that their ability to be human, uh, genuine, a word we throw around all the time, and, and authentic, allows them to create the relationship, the therapeutic relationship, and give, in turn gives their clients the ability to develop, again, that self-trust that is crucial. This is the stuff, this, this looking at our stories, uh, Honoring, re-honoring, recommitting to who we are uh, is what my program, It's Me Thriving, is all about. Creating a small group of people who are there to support you and encourage you and to see you and and to, to even say, you know, do you, don't you see that quality about you? That's amazing. It's, we don't see that a lot of times. Anyway. If this excites you, if this interests you, and you're interested in kind of stepping outside your comfort zone in this way, I invite you to join us. It's Me Thriving. We're going to be starting in about three weeks. Learn more at itsmethriving.com. Take care.